Okay, this is a uh, Prince DJ, and um, I was hoping to bring Fast Lane Prediction Show, uh, but due to circumstances beyond me and the share of control, uh, we will have to make uh, Fast Lane a post show uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening, um, and also I am in a short term and. I knew that when I read the uh, the Wood Group, I thought that I was in the part where I could stay as long as I need to. Maybe that was the uh, psychological part that I was the D to, but not at the uh, the crisis center. That's usually like a two or three week or something like that because a lot of the other people that was here when I was here, they all left. Uh, they either transferred or went home, and they either had a home to go to. And I don't. Yeah. So the problem is I'm taking medications that make me sleepy. And see, the Salvation Army, when I went to before I came here, it was not designed so if I were to take medicine that made me drowsy to be an all-day uh, shelter. And uh, people were supposed to go out during the, the, the during the night. I mean, during the day, I should say. And they wanted to try to give, give, give me the Golden Star Hope, which is back in Houston. And, well, thankfully, the weather is going down. But the problem is, uh, if it's like the South Asian Army, I don't have any... Money and only other to get me possibly a new phone, which I will talk about the uh, the next part of what I'm going to talk about. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Star of Hope is anything like the Salvation Army. I'm sunk. I don't have any money for lift. I was trying to get me a way that I could pay for hotels just in case if uh, no no uh, homeless organization is paying for hotels except for family, but. I'm disabled. I and, and I just got re, re diagnosed with severe depression, PTSD, and anxiety. And I was going to get therapy. Problem is, it's the twenty seventh. But uh, then a week, week before that, I was told that uh, there's a possibility that I could get transferred way before that. And every time I was about to get a ther- therapy help and. And everything, I always wind up something happens. Like I take two steps forward and I take 14 steps back. Like I was supposed to get help in uh, Galveston. Nope, got kicked out because of the letter of death. Uh, I was supposed to get help after I got, uh, you know, reevaluated, you know, when I got re diagnosed. And nope, I might get transferred the week of uh, Columbus Day, which I almost nearly forgot about Columbus Day. You know, I can't be out on the street where I still don't know the town. I was in another part of Houston uh, when I was uh, staying at Passplit before going to Galveston. I wasn't I wasn't even in downtown Houston. I still don't know Houston. I I was stuck inside, as you know. It was, like, too hot, and then I got a sense of heat warning. So it's like a back to the part where I could still get a panic attack, even with the— uh, with the, um, even with the, uh, you know, even with the medicine, but I can't even take the medicine if I'm not able to stay inside the shelter because the medicine makes me sleepy. It really makes me sleepy. And they, they, and then people in this country don't like homeless people. They really don't like homeless people. And, you know, so... They don't know that there's many other ways that people get homeless, like whether they get kicked out or whether uh, they wasn't able to pay rent. I mean, even though I was able to pay rent, I still got kicked out. Even though I was able to pay rent. And now, now, when I found out that I wasn't able to be able to pay rent because uh, of an overpayment, then that's a, a, a usual reason to get kicked out. Uh... So, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm back to being uncertain, and 
you know, although I was still grateful for the work group, I just wish it was like a place where I could stay until I either find a place because there are some places I got to a wait list. I got a wait list to Washington, Oregon. Um, I can't get it to Baltimore because they need, they, they require an address and, uh, I don't have a permanent address, but, uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know plans are going to, and I, I, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know what's going to happen, uh, between now and then April or May when I get my money back. And then how long is the fight? Because, you know, I, even though I signed the papers, I mean, even Maria told me sign the papers and then uh, get the paper, uh, you know, so they could take it to the court. And, and and even with then, it's still a wait. I didn't know everything was still a wait. It's still a wait. Unbelievable. I still don't have an income. I still don't have an income. Everything is still a wait. I don't believe this. So... Wherever I turn for two, I'm just hoping that they understand my situation. Okay. And it's really hard. I mean, and then now, and there's another thing. I had to fight with my phone because I had this phone ever since I went to Podcast Movement in Dallas. Okay. I had to get a new phone uh, even before, while, while I was in Dallas. You know, because I needed to cover podcast movement back at the time, and so uh, then I had I, I I had this phone for a year. It, it even went with me to St. Louis, and it and it been with me to thick and thin. And now I don't know if it's on this last leg or whatever like that, but I'm fighting because of the batteries. Now I did everything right, so I was looking up, uh, and then people would tell me. Oh, you should clean the phone, which I did that. It still go down. And I won't let it go down to the the lowest I'll go down to 96 or 95. I won't let it go down to past that because that would be a danger zone for me. Uh, but I had to put it on airplane mode. But then if it's on 96 or 97, it takes a long time for it to go back to 100 once it's on airplane mode. And... Yeah, so it's really ridiculous. But I had to turn off more things off of, uh, off of, uh, yeah, I had to turn more notifications off. So hopefully it will work. And I will have a phone, you know, up until, you know, when I transfer. And I'm really, I'm totally scared. I'm totally intimidating about moving once again. And uh, I'm nervous because I don't know what type of environment that I'm going to be heading into. Uh, and if I had to be in the streets part of the time, then I, 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 don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to videotape the experience that I'll be having. I think people who live in their car, they do their experience on, on YouTube, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm still at up, but I have a fundraiser that I am doing uh, to help me to get back on my feet, to help me to be in hotels, you know, while I'm figuring out and while I'm waiting on uh, public housing. And that might mean uh, going to another state, but... I'm still I'm still hoping for Dallas because I'm in I'm in Dallas waiting area. I'm uh waiting list. I'm on even on Dallas waiting list for section eight. Yeah, I'm even on Dallas uh section eight. Uh I did I would notify them that I that I'm homeless. I mean this might be my last few days at this uh crisis center, which is still a mental health facility, but uh, still crisis and like I said a lot of people that was here is already gone it's just me and staff and uh, 
I mean, this is so real that I had to go through this again. I mean, it's like I'm a Papa with a Rolling Stone kind of thing. I mean, maybe that should be my theme song if I was in wrestling, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous, scared, all rolled up in one. I do want to tell you about two dreams that I had this past couple of uh, nights. I did have a dream one night that I was, uh, I guess I was hiking or something like that. I was going up a, a, some kind of strange road. And it was like some kind of uh, way where I could see a beautiful, beautiful mountain. I mean, almost like the mountains that I saw when I stayed at the Tropicana for my birthday one time, but I got, I was sick, unfortunately, all that time. And I guess it was like a bad stomach flu that was going to, uh, going around in Vegas that time, but I don't know. It just got me terrible. But other than that, it was a beautiful, beautiful mountain that I saw. I mean, it was just awestruck. And then I woke up. Okay, last night, I was going to a town or going to a city. And there was a DJ. I don't know if it was a he or she, but I was a fan of that particular show. I was, like, literally a fan. I heard the show. I watched the show on YouTube or whatever. I told me, uh, told news, and I think it played music, but I'm not sure. And then, then um, he stopped the show in the middle of the show. And told fans to vote for me for, for president of the United States. And I was so excited. I was like, I was so happy. It's like, oh my God, he actually recognized me. He actually recognized me. I was ecstatic. I was so happy, but then I woke up. So, it's been, a, it's, it's so real that you have to be in a situation like this. And uh, it's so real. But I'm gonna to try to do what I can. I did uh did do six uh NFL pickups up to week six. I don't know how I'm gonna do the aftermath of week six. Uh I don't even know how I'm gonna do the aftermath of week five because I have to wait. Now, unless I could do the aftermath to week five, the Sunday's game, then the Thursday game, and then depend upon I don't know, depend upon See, I don't know what I'm going to transfer. So I might have to do this. I might have to do the Thursday to the Sunday's game early on probably Monday if I haven't transferred yet. Because they were trying to transfer me on Monday. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm 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 running around like like with with, with a chicken and a hate cut off and stuff like that again. But at least this time I have a lot of time to prepare. And uh but the medicine still made me look like a zombie, so yeah, I am sort of in a uh uh survival mode situation again. But I don't know not telling when I'm gonna be transferred just like everybody else been transferred. And uh, week five will be telling because it'll, it'll be, uh, I don't know when I'm going to be doing the the aftermath. I, I may or may not be able to do the aftermath of uh, Monday night game, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure something out. I'm pretty sure I'll figure something out. Just keep me in prayer. And please... Please help me in my uh, fundraiser, my Go Go for Me fundraiser. Uh, um, you know about uh, finding a finding a place, and uh, yeah. So, all right, this is Pit DJ. My God, twenty twenty three. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done.